Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Steel Pandas. How are y'all doing today? So, I've got uh, <laughs> the reason for the accent. I've got my, my doc and my butch in right now. So, the, the doc, I was talking to somebody, and sorry, I've got a little bit of a scratchy throat if I sound funny. But, um, uh, the doc I was talking about with, uh, with somebody the other day, we are talking about using a doc with Punishers. And I was talking about how it can be a really effective build. So the damage output just from a couple of the Punisher MK2s is pretty high. I mean, you're looking at like, what is it, like 350k at at uh, if they're maxed out per clip. So it, it's not the best brawler. It, it works really, really well for like a mid-range setup. And I like it because of the constant pressure. Like you could put Tolumbus on there and it might be a better... I'm seeing if I can get over here and get that guy. I thought he was going to come out underneath since our... Uh, since our home beacon there was unprotected, I thought that that guy was going to go over there. So I was trying to um, to <laughs> apprehend him over there. But anyway, yeah. So like Tolumbus, you could put on there and you get like a really good, you know, really good burst damage. Like you, it, the damage happens really fast. But with the Punisher is like you do get that added kind of psychological component to it. People don't like to stand in that bolt spray. And the bolt spray hurts even at, you know, even at 450 plus like. It still can deal pretty solid damage, especially in this level of play where everything is pretty fat. Except for all the <laughs> dash bots that people are running and everything. But let, let's just take the heat from this guy and we'll just we'll put the heat on him too. Um, <laughs> there we go. Just want him to back off. I did not see that guy. <laughs> did he just spawn in or something? I, I had no idea he was standing right there. <laughs> so it's like, is there someone else behind me right now? <laughs> Might as well check. <laughs> All right, hopefully this guy pops back out right here. I'm just looking and seeing who we've got over there. Just took a whole bunch of unnecessary damage because I wasn't paying attention to the reds. I was trying to look at who we had on blue. So, all right, there we go. So, Death Button Griffin. Someone wanted me to talk about the Death Button Griffin. I, I want to say it was... Uh, I, I can't remember the name. I was going to try to remember it. <laughs> I'm the worst with that. Because I usually... So, I read through comments in the morning, and I usually put in my hanger in the morning... And then in the evening is when I usually play with the hanger, like so that I, you know, it's all ready to go. I usually don't even have time to play with it before then. So, uh, like I put it in, like I read through comments and stuff. I put I put my hanger in, and then I go to work and come home and make dinner and kids and all that stuff. And then by the time that happens, generally I forget who I am playing with, and I usually just start recording and don't have time. Let's see if we can nab him really fast oh he jumped if he didn't jump i think we would have yeah i think for sure we would have been able to take him out all right let's pressure this guy and we'll see if we can get our home beacon back because i don't like that they have my home beacon but as far as the death button griffin goes the biggest tips that i could probably give you oh that wasn't smart i should have i should have corner peeked and saw what he was running before and <laughs> doing anything like that all right, let's back off. We need to get out of this can. And it looks like there's an energy shield upstairs. And the beacon's not getting turned, so it's probably a friendly. So we'll back behind here, and hopefully we can get some cover from that shield. Looks like we got a little bit. <laughs> there, oh, there's a couple ansels up there. So, all right, well, let's back off all the way. We'll move this way out of their line of sight. Hopefully they go for someone else, and then maybe... Oh, nice, we did get a spawn in. I was going to say maybe we can get a spawn in <laughs> over here. Well, that was fortuitous. All right, so we'll just keep messing with that guy. It looks like it's something with quite a bit of health because um, that was a fair amount of damage. So one of the heavier bots, probably not a griffin since it's going slow and it's not jumping. It's got orkins, it looks like. I was trying to see through the crack there. Well, some something big, something fat. It's moving slow. I don't know, maybe a lance. It's not taking any heat from that gecko, so maybe it's a lance. But, yeah, so as far as the death button griffin goes, hit and run. Like, people, people like, stand out in the open and brawl with him all the time, but <laughs> we were able to keep my that griffin alive for a long time. But, yeah, standing out in the open for a long time, it's not going to do you any good because once you get down to, I mean, you can still deal pretty solid damage even when you're cycling with uh, with the death button set up, but... Really, you want to you want to let that recharge at least halfway before you start engaging. I want to see if we can put some salt and pepper on that guy before he shot. Oh, he didn't shoot. He held on to it. <laughs> He's smart. <laughs> um, but yeah, so use that death button griffin as a hit and run thing. And then with this dock, 
you're best off staying like 350 plus and as much as you can if, if you're with a teammate and you're focusing somebody hopefully nobody spawns in here i'm gonna move in here so it turns faster oh no no <laughs> this is bad news <laughs> run doc run but yeah so if you're with a teammate and helping him focus I, i'd say that you could probably stay in there i don't want to be in that range right now because of this lance but <laughs> oh man oh thank goodness we're able to take him out at least there's the damage bonus to physical shields but uh <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so originally with, with when they were adding that bonus, I was saying I don't think they should add it with Punishers because you're doing like a million damage to <laughs> to a shield in in like a 13 second time period. Like I just thought it was ridiculous, but it actually has worked out fairly well because people still don't use bullet based weapons, like even though they're solid choices. So uh, I put my I put the Butch Tempest in for that same reason. I, I actually haven't tested the Tempest with the shield thing yet. <clears throat> excuse me since the update and so i was hoping to get a maybe a bigger map where i could find a rhino that i could shoot at with it oh shoot <laughs> oh we're about to get wrecked <laughs> no <laughs> leave me alone no <laughs> oh gg that guy's op dude is op um anyway so let's let's drop in over here we can use this hill for cover i was looking at the map seeing which would be probably the best place to go since everybody's mecking out and I, I figured a dropping my butch in here I could shoot over the hill at whoever this fool was over here and luckily he's just walking up here and so he's gonna melt oh the stupid zeniths you see how much damage those are doing so <laughs> yeah I mean they're still not very effective like when when you're within when you're like 400 to 500 meters like they, they move fast enough where you can you can hit people like even if they're strafing and stuff like that but I don't know like in in higher level play i i just think they're not good to run because they're so discouraging for getting you to actually move so i'm firing right now to get the accelerated state starting so that when i come around the corner if he shoots at me i can melt him first kind of thing if that makes sense so people ask me that sometimes like why'd you start shooting already you, you know you're wasting bullets and it is a waste of bullets but you can do damage faster like i'm i'm increasing my dps like after those three seconds like my dps is high enough where I'm, I'm confident in the damage that I'm outputting versus what they're outputting. So anyway, that's what I was doing. That was a pretty solid round. We were able to bring that back for... Or not bring it back for a win. We had a pretty solid run the whole time. But anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for coming and checking out the video, guys. We'll talk about the death button griffin a little bit more uh, here in the future. Uh, just give you some tips and tricks and stuff. So anyway, thank you guys, and I hope you have an amazing day.